Welcome back everybody, it's the Working Brother here with another episode uh, coming to you from uh, Donetsk with Russell Texas Bentley. How are you doing Texas? Good to have you back. Good to be back brother, good to be working with you again. How's uh, life down there in Donbass? I heard it's been like a heavy, heavy week or two weeks even. It's been heavy. We're both still okay. We're both very lucky. We're both very glad to be alive. Yesterday, um, Sunday the 19th, we were under a very heavy grad attack uh, in the center of the city. The Saturday, the weekend before that, we were under a high Mars attack from uh, Ukrop and American Nazis in Petrovsky District. They hit a house uh, right in our neighborhood, uh, blew the whole, it was a civilian house, a mom and her daughter there, totally civilian. The mom was uh, killed, blown to pieces, the daughter critically injured, uh, injured. the house was uh, totally destroyed, the daughter was dug out from the rubble, taken to the hospital. The neighbors went back later and dug out to find her documents and stuff. It was horrendous. Uh, Ludmilla, my wife and I were both right there at the time. Uh, it was a very, very heavy duty situation. Uh, we made a video of it in the very short aftermath. Uh, Ludmilla is very brave, <clears throat> but that kind of stuff is scary for anybody, even the bravest of people. Um, let's check it out. Don't go there. All right. Yeah, we can't go this way. Please. Okay, are you filming? Yes. Okay. Please go. I'm going, baby. Fucking. You crap. Heavy, heavy attack. Petrovsky District. 10 February. All right, Texas. Yeah, you can, you can see, man. I mean, uh, that's right in the middle of the attack. There's uh, bombs landing on both sides of us. You know, you can hear the fear in my wife's voice, which is legitimate, you know, because, you know, artillery is a terrifying thing, man. It, it blows you into pieces if it hits you. And <clears throat> Ludmilla has been under it for years, since 2014. It's like her nightmare. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, it's traumatic to even rewatch this footage. And then, you know, a week later, we're in the center of the city. We go to meet our friend Luis from Colombia. And, you know, uh, you know, we're just in a little cafe having a beer and some fish. And all of a sudden, wham, 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 wham. Again, you know, we jump up, we run down to the basement of this cafe. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, come up 20 minutes later to, you know, more savage destruction. A person was killed, like 11 people were injured. A trolley bus was hit. Market was hit. A couple of stores were hit. Um, houses, apartments were hit. You know, and it's like it's becoming an every weekend kind of thing, you know, and these are totally, you know, grads are not accurate rockets. They're like area rockets. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I mean, and they're heavy duty artillery. I mean, they're, you know, 20 kilos of, of high explosive in each one. You know, like I said, the, uh, real, huh? you know, the lethal range is 100 meters. You know, if mm -hmm. if you're in the neighborhood, you're going to get hurt or killed. Or blown yeah. to pieces. 
So you you lined up a video for us uh, to watch next from uh, one of the priests that it's a friend of yours, right? Yeah, this is Father Fio Fon videoed this from his apartment. This is a video of what it sounded like from a high, you know, a top floor apartment when the grad attack happened. Forty grads, a, a pack of grads, is forty rockets. You yeah. know, each let's rocket a has a hundred meter. Let's have a listen. Let's have a listen. Listen. Похоже, в стороне конвоз арены падают. Yeah, you can hear it echoing through the whole neighborhood. Through the whole town, bro. And a grad has 40 rockets, and they can shoot all 40 of them off in mm -hmm. 20 seconds. Yeah. And that's and what like you're you hearing there. These are, not, these are not precision weapons. It's not like they were hitting, uh, you know, an ammo depot or something. These are meant to terrorize the civilian population, basically. Exactly, man, exactly. And they do a good job of it. I... Uh, we, you know, when we came up from the basement, there was like a couple of little old uh, uh, retiree old ladies that came in that were coming to that cafe that we were at, which is mm -hmm. right across the street from the bus station. And uh, they came in, and I don't know if they were more scared or more pissed off, but I did a great interview with one of the ladies. She's from Kievsky District, which is up by the airport, also like Petrovsky. Heavily bombed, has been, you know, since 2014. And, uh, you know, we, just gonna play we drank a little vodka in the together after the interview. I'm going to play some footage of the last week's shelling just for yeah, people who might not be on Telegram. Yeah, and you look across the street, the yellow, the yellow signs, that's the, that was the, uh, the restaurant where we were at. And here's a cab you can see right you can see my car, my Neva, right there. He just it just passed by. This guy's driving down right between the bus station and uh, a little bit. Yep. Yeah, go ahead, a little, yep. right one bit further. Oh, right there, there there's is. the Neva, bro. Dude, we're sitting in that uh, and listen to what this guy's saying. Listen to the explosions. Hold on, let me uh, play it again and turn up the volume. Еще сейчас будут, смотри. Да, еще, еще валим. Да, в любое место вообще будет. Еще, слышу, да. Вот, сука, пидорасы. Вон, бля! Сука! That sounds mighty close. Затон, затон. You can even see it right there in front of him. Yeah. Oh, Осколки. Yeah. I'll turn down I mean, the volume is, so we can talk, but yeah, it's crazy. This is this is what terrorism looks like. And this is terrorism that's paid for, that's directed, that's armed mm -hmm. by the goddamn U.S. government, you know, and the Nazis that own it. Yep. You know, this is, I mean, you know, I mean, look, you know, that's like a, a mobile phone center store that's blown to pieces. You know, there's a, a butcher shop across the street. That's a, you know, where they sell meat and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. there's people in that store buying meat and selling meat when all of a sudden bombs came down right around them. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, it's, there's no excuse for it. These are the Nazis of the 21st century. And they deserve to be dealt with the same way the German Nazis of 80 years ago were. And I mean that. And that's that's the only way to deal with them. You yep. know, Vladimir Putin's giving a speech tomorrow, you know, and it is my hope that he declares war on Ukraine and on anyone that arms or sends soldiers to Ukraine. I doubt mm -hmm. it'll happen, but it's what should happen. You know, it's, you know. The kind of times you know, we're living in, nothing's impossible. Office. That's the prosecutor's office. Where the Ukraps bombing in that mm -hmm. place intentionally, you know, to try and uh, burn up the 
the evidence in the files about all their war crimes. Yep. You know, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's real terrorism. These are the true terrorists, the real Nazis. And they need to be dealt with like that, like a mad dog or a poisonous snake. You can't reason with them. You can't negotiate with them. You can't make peace with them. You know, the only thing they understand is force. And we need to teach them a lesson. Yep, I agree. I agree. And, and the fact that it's a daily occurrence, that it's not random and that it's, uh, you know, uh, it's just annoying. It's just annoying that it keeps going on. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, when the, the Russians get going, that uh, you guys will be allowed a breather, let's say, uh, by clearing out the Avdevka area that's been a hassle to you uh, for a while now. Since 2014, dude, I was fighting on the Avdevka front in 2017, man. Yeah. That's more than yep. five years ago. And they're still there, yep. and they're still shooting at Donetsk. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I don't know, Texas, is there anything more you want to say about this uh, subject? Or do you want to uh, make this a nice, short, sweet talk and uh, get moving on to other pastures? Well, I think we got this one covered, bro. I mean, there it is. There's the evidence. Terrorist bombing of civilians in Donetsk by U.S. and Ukrop Nazis. And basically uh, all this the time. Week, this last weekend and the weekend before. And Ludmilla and I were right there within 100 meters of, of shells coming down both times. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, Texas, thank you for coming on. Thank you for this uh, brief update. A uh, very detailed look into what has been going on with some exclusive footage. Uh Stay strong, and uh, we'll catch up again soon. Okay, Davai, Bratan. Let's get some music going out, if we can. Can we? We can. Excellent. All right. Thank you, everybody. Like, share, subscribe. And...